have all of the new Nightmare Critters bundled up in today's video, so watch until the end so you can see some special lore implications these little critters are hiding from us. I don't want to waste your time, so let's hop right into it. But really quickly, before I get into this, make sure to like and subscribe to push the algorithm, and make sure to watch my other Nightmare Critters video if you don't know what the first four are. Anyways, the first new Nightmare Critter we are going to cover is Simon Smokes. His appearance is a red dragon with yellow horns, and of course, some earrings. His pendant is a money sign, which probably says he's rich and popular. And his description does confirm this. Simon Smoke knows he's cool and popular, and he makes sure nobody ever forgets it. Whether showing off for friends or just bragging about one of his accomplishments, it's always a popularity contest with him. Almost always, he wins. In truth, He's a colossal jerk, but he does have a knack for getting away with being one. Scent, wood smoke. This means Simon Smokes is popular and cool, and he also likes to brag about this. He's also really mean to people, but he gets away with it. His scent is wood smoke. Now, at first, I had no idea what this was. It does have smoke in the name, so maybe it was some type of fire, but I was completely wrong. Wood smoke smells fresh, resinous, and slightly sweet fragrance. This probably means he's cool and sweet, but a little bit resinous, or a big jerk. This reminds me of a certain chicken. I can't put my finger on it. <sighs> Back to eating my KFC. Anyways, Poe is our next nightmare critter. A pretty simple name, huh? But it makes sense. He's a calm raven with a thunder pendant. You may think this thunder pendant points to him being a really hyper, but he's actually pretty chill. His description proves this. Poe hates the sun, and thinks it's a cruel trick of nature that the world needs it in the first place. Most comfortable in the dark, they spend their nights hanging around graveyards, listening to music, and feeling vaguely angry at nothing in particular. They insist it isn't a phase. Scent, cinnamon. This means that Poe always stays in dark places, listening to music and feeling vaguely angry at nothing. But something hides inside of this that may point to something big in chapter 4. It says, Most comfortable in the dark, they spend their nights hanging around graveyards. But this is just the description. How does this tease at anything? Well, they refer to Poe as a they, which means there's multiple. It also says they insist it isn't a phase, referring to Poe as, once again, a they. This might mean that Poe hides in the dark and won't be attacking us. He might even be the smiling critter, similar to Dog Day, that doesn't believe in all of the eating other toy stuff. But what do you think? Comment below. Anyways, Poe's scent is cinnamon, and cinnamon is described to smell like warm, spicy, and sweet, which describes Poe pretty well. Anyways, our next nightmare critter is Tui, and his appearance is a mouse. I think Tui might act like a raccoon because he has a bone of a fish for his pendant. Anyways, his description reads, Tui is a self-proclaimed trash rodent. When he's not busy eating and collecting garbage, he's a lively conversationist. He talks a lot, which is made up all the more surprising by him having shockingly little to say. If you ever need someone to provide insightful commentary or some random piece of junk, Tui is your guy. This means that Tui likes to have conversations, even though he does have little to say. I actually like this character a lot because it reminds me of myself. Anyways, it does say that he sometimes does eat trash and collect rubbish, and that he's proclaimed as a trash rodent. But even after that, he does have some conversation to let slip out. Tui's scent is petrichor, which is described to be a deep, earthy scent, which is like the garbage that Tui likes to collect. Anyways, our last nightmare critter is Maggie Mako, whose appearance is a cyan shark, with a shark tooth as a pendant. Her description reads, Maggie is always thinking about her belly. She's happiest with food in her mouth, and believe us, she's not picky. She loves sweets, but veggies, yuck. Don't be surprised if she takes your health-eating habits advice with a dabble of sugar, some chocolate syrup, whipped cream, and a big cherry on top, all while laughing at you profusely. Scent, chocolate. This means that Maggie Mako is like Picky Piggy, but not picky. She loves to eat sweets and scoffs off vegetables. And thinking about Maggie Mako being like Piggy Piggy, I decided to step back and look at how every nightmare critter was connected to its own smiling critter. Simon Smokes and Icky Licky are like Kick and Chicken because they both think they're cool. Tui is like Bubba Bubba Finn because they both like to talk. Maggie Mako is like Picky Piggy because they both like food, and so on. This makes sense because after the Smiling Critters failed at Playtime Co., they most likely made new critters and made them similar to the old ones so they didn't have to come up with completely new ideas. Anyways, Maggie Mako's scent 
is chocolate, which is described as sweet and thick, which probably means that Maggie Mako obviously likes sweets, since it literally says it in her description. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.